Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Shemak. I have the great millstone, Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Racha Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in the overseas tabernacle of David. And Shalom to our sincere brothers that's pushing, teaching truth across four corners of the earth. Okay? Coming with a lesson concerning that, you know, knowing you're an Israelite, knowing that you're a Hebrew Israelite is not enough. You know, it's just not enough, man. Okay? Because, you know, knowledge without works is dead. You know, faith, we, we understand faith without works is dead, man. Okay? But not apply, applying knowledge, you know, it's dead as well, man. You know? There's no use to it. Okay, but it's a lot. I'm just using this uh, video here with T.I. You know, he was he was stating, you know, uh, about mentioning the, the Bible, mentioning uh, that, you know, that, that, that these times are ordained, which they are. He is correct about that. You know, they are ordained, you know, it, or being predestined. These times are predestined to happen. You know, it's no stopping prophecy. It's no stopping the way things are going to go, how the Lord wants them to go. It's no stopping it, man. Okay, it's going to be evil times. Them evil meaning bad times. Okay. These are going to be evil times ahead, okay? This thing is not going to go back to normal. This thing is not going to slow down. Things are going to intensify, okay? Things are going to intensify, man, all right? So, it's, and it's, I'm not just speaking on concerning this, this celebrity, uh, 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 T.I., which is a rapper, okay, of him knowing he's a Hebrew Israelite. Cause we, we know he, a lot, and a lot of these celebrities know, man. A lot do know, okay? But also, regular, just regular, regular, you know, people. You know, uh, the ones that know they're Israelites, especially the men. We sh you know, we're supposed to be out there teaching on the highways and byways, putting up videos, you know, doing everything right in the spirit uh, to the best of our ability, man. Following the law, teachers, commandments, praying, fasting, doing this such to coming under order, you know, not just going to, not doing this thing on our own, um, following our own way, okay, leaning out upon our own understanding, okay. But let me get James chapter 1, okay. But knowing knowing you're a Hebrew Israelite is not enough, man. The Pharisees, every and this is that's why this that's why this captivity is is really the worst, man. Okay, because our people don't even have a, a inclination of, of of knowing their uh, true true nationality, man. Their true identity. This is an identity crisis. And those and all those captivities under the Assyrians, under the Hamites, under the Greeks, under the Romans. We all we always knew that we was Israelites. Okay, all right. Until you know until that time, you know it was. Some of us are destroyed and, you know, turn to follow those wicked ways, of course, turn to idols, okay? It was forced on us by, you know, of course, by those Greeks, all right? The Hellenization period. But, it, you know, it, but this is the time in captivity. This is worse because the whole nation don't know their, their, their own nationality until the Lord put the spirit back on earth to wake, to wake the children of Israel up, all right? But this is James chapter 1, verse 22, all right? But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Cause you, you people hear this knowledge, you're like, oh yeah, that's true. I believe you, but do nothing with it, man. They don't go back. They don't go back home. Cause you always look. This is another side point of the brothers. We, when we're always teaching on the highways and byways, which is the streets. Okay, as we're commanded to do according to the Bible. You know, you always hear somebody say, man, I believe y'all, man. Y'all gonna be here next week, and they don't come back. You know, that's that's being your that's 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 being uh hearers only and not doers, man. That's just one example, okay? And that's a lot of these celebrities, and this is a lot, this is a lot of people in general, man. These it's, it's some brothers' videos that get a lot of views, but no, nobody does anything with it because it's entertainment to them, man. They don't take it serious enough. They don't have enough fear for the Lord. At the end of the day, they just don't give a damn, you know? But the Lord is going if, if, if these words can't show you, you know, as Apostle, G Apostle Gabar mentioned, I was thinking, what, last year? He's like, these words can't show you, adversity will. You know, then you people are going to know, like, damn, man. I should have just, you know, repented, man. That's what it's going to come down to. But this is James chapter 2, verse 17. Even so, faith, if it have not works, is dead, being alone. Yeah, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. See? If you truly believe in the Lord, you're going to you're gonna take heed to the prophets. You know? to to Because that's the mo the prophets are the most high uh, mouthpiece, you know? You can even be a secret disciple, but you're gonna have to apply. You're gonna still, you're gonna still have to follow the law, statutes, commandments. Keep the high holy days. Throw away these holidays, these wicked, this wicked holiday that's coming up, July Fourth. You know, these, you know, these people, these people faith. These people have no faith, man. Yeah, that's why they're begging the so-called white man right now. Okay, they don't know what's going on. But ultimately, this is really uh, speaking on the Israelites. And it's another another point is that.
it's a lot of Israelites on social media posting this and that, but don't you know? It but it doesn't go past that, man. Past memes of of Israelite of truth memes, man, of information, and they just sit back at home and relax. No, it's really a sacrifice going out here on the highways and byways and putting in the work for the Lord, man. Because the prophecy, the prophecy in Isaiah chapter thirty verse twenty spoke about you know uh, that that the people shall see thy teachers, man. That's heavy. That's why the, that's why this act that we're doing is nothing light. You know, it's nothing to be taken granted of, man. You know, because you want to, and that increases our faith, man. You know, personally, of course. Okay, you look back and like, man, Lee, hey, I'm glad I, you know, put forth that effort and that diligence, man. Okay, for for me to be, you know, to have faith to be protected in these times to come. You know, and we continue to do that. You know, business as usual, you know, as is until, you know, that time is is, is for us to come off the streets or, or go into that next phase of the truth because we haven't got through the hard part yet. But this is 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 16. For thou I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yeah, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. See, we have nothing to glory of. This is what we're supposed to be doing. The whole duty of man is to keep the commandments of the Most High. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. It's nothing like, oh, yeah, at least I, I know what the hell going, you know, I know this and that. You're supposed, to, you're supposed to know that, man. You know, this is required of you, you know. Just knowing you're a Hebrew Israelite, that's just the beginning, you know. But it's not enough to, to get you delivered, man, you know. It's a lot of Israelites that, it's a lot of individuals out there that know they're Israelites, okay, but they're not calling them the true name. They're not teaching the true doctrine in its entirety. They're not even putting forth the effort to to do such things as study, you know, uh, read, you know, do, do these such things, come under order, okay? Verse 17, for, for if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. See, we do, we know, brothers, we do this thing willingly, man. We we want to do this. We have, we, we, we look at this world, we're dead to this world. We're like, damn, bro, what, what else? What is the what else better is to, there is there to do but serve the Lord, man? Nothing else is going to benefit. Everything else is vanity. The scriptures speak about that. It's, it's vanity out here, man. It's not gonna it's not gonna result to anything. It's not gonna amount to anything, man. Having good credit is not gonna matter during a famine. Having a big house and a nice car is not gonna matter during a famine. When doing a, um, when you got to when you, you're being tempted by the RFID chip, okay? Verse eighteen. What is my reward then? Verily that. Which I pre I preach the gospel, I may make the gospel of Hamashiach without charge, that I abuse not my power in the gospel. Okay. And let me get uh just to switch gears real quick. Let me it's not even switching gears really. But those ones, yeah, it's not really switching gears at all. This is Luke chapter twelve, verse forty seven. Yes. Let me get, I gotta start verse forty six. Luke chapter twelve, verse forty six. All right. This is this is another precept of scripture to prove that knowing your Israelites is not enough, man. All right, this is Luke chapter twelve, verse forty-six. The Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, and at that an hour which he is not aware, and will cut him in asunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. Okay, because you knowing your Israelite, you know you you're better off not knowing if you're not gonna do nothing with it, if you're not gonna apply the knowledge. Okay, if he he, he you know many are, many are called but few are chosen. <laughs> Many are called, Matthew chapter 22, verse 14. Many are called, but free, a few are chosen, man. It's a lot of people that heard about the, about the Hebrew Israelites. A lot, man. Clearly, you know. This this truth has been on this earth for more than, man, since 1969. You know, a lot of people know. But a lot don't, uh, but, you know, only a select few actually put forth the action, you know, to, to, get us, to give themselves a chance to be delivered, you know. Verse 47, the main point, and that servant which knew his Lord's will, see, they knew they was Israelites, but they, they just, they, you know, they didn't do what, what needs to be done. They didn't follow the laws, his statutes and commandments. They didn't, they didn't teach if they were men. They didn't, the woman, they, they didn't submit to their, their man, you know, they didn't do these such things, but they knew. Okay. It says, which knew to his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. See, you... Man, you it's so much it's so it's so dangerous. You're gonna be punished, okay, worse than someone that, that didn't know that would that that was an unbeliever. Okay. You're gonna get you're gonna get punished, you being knowing that you're an Israelite and, and and did nothing with it, did nothing with that that knowledge, and even really understanding. 
Maybe not wisdom because you didn't apply because that's not that's not wise. <laughs> you know, you're going to get punished worse than an unbeliever. Let that sink in, man. You follow those that fell out the truth. You're going to get punished, bro. You know, for even, you know, kind of putting a shame to the to your by Shemia Shai's name, even though you really didn't because because they let, you know, the remnant. OK, really is going to hold his, his name to the end, you know, in the one third. All right. And let me get one more, and I end it off here, cause this is this is gonna back that point up too. It's really just like, damn, you know, it's a, this is like, woo. This is uh, Second Peter chapter two, verse twenty one. For it it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. See, for all you fallouts, you bug outs, you know, you and it doesn't matter how many how many years you were you was in the truth, you didn't endure to the end. You know, you didn't you didn't finish with uh you didn't finish your building, man. You know, that you intended to build. You didn't finish it. You didn't finish your course. You didn't fight the you didn't fight the good fight of faith, you know? So it, it had been better for you not even knowing the way of righteousness. It's it's better if it would have been better if you not even known about the Hebrew Israelites. Not have known your true nationality, not even known the true name of the most high and his only begotten son, which is Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah. Okay? It would it, it been better, man. You know, because you didn't do nothing with it. That's why knowing your Israelite is not enough, okay? Knowing your Israelite is not enough, man, because you'll see these celebrities rap about it, talk about it, but do nothing with it, man. These people are not sincere. The, the, you want to, you, these people don't have faith. They're not sincere, okay? All right, and they're going to, you know, just going to get judged for that, man, at the end of the day, man, you know, because it's just not a joke. You know, it's just not a joke. Anybody, some people just going to have to see that it's not a joke, okay? But, you know, Lord willing, you know, this lesson was edifying, exhorting. Concerning that, you know, knowing your Israelites is not enough, man. All right, but let, hey, let's 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 keep the fight. Let's keep let's keep the faith, man, to the end. All right. So we end up by giving all the glory, infinite praise unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kadosh. Double honesty, the apostles, the elders, a great millstone, the teacher, will win. Obviously, it's tabernacle like David. And peace, love, and safety to the hopefully elect and their families. With that, let's say Shalom. Abba, Abba, keep the faith. Shalom.